welcome back to the channel guys before we start i just want to say i hope you all had a fantastic new year don't worry i haven't gone anywhere we are back with another episode of the chunk account we took a bit of a break to play leagues but that's over now so it's time to get back on the grind if you are enjoying the series please consider subscribing as over six percent of the viewers currently aren't it really helps me get into the algorithm so whilst you're there make sure you like it as well uh, I also want to apologise for the audio in the first couple of clips. I had the wrong mic on, so that's my bad. And as a quick reminder, it's been a while. The reigning task in this chunk are to get the Vigorous Chain Mace, the Crossbow, the Amulet of Avarice, the Ancient Relic and the Ancient Medallion from Revs, as well as getting 90 Fletching to create an Amethyst Dart. But anyway, we've got some more Revenants to kill, so let's get on with it. Alrighty, there is final leagues prep done i have got 500,000 casts of mind and airs i don't think i'm going to use them all but we'll see how many we get through during leagues and yeah we're ready to afk let's see how far it gets us okay leagues is done i got dragon rank on the main i'm gonna get this rat off me which i'm happy about um so yeah all that's left to do is open up all of our lamps so we used up about 220k air runes we started level 73, we got to 86, which I'm really happy with. That's going to help us so, so much with tanking PKers, which also gives us Entangle. We stacked up 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 lamps, and they are all going to go into agility. We did get, I think, three or four dunces as well, but obviously we can't stack the book, so we had to use that XP book as soon as we got it. So we started at 14. Let's see where we get to. And there we go, very nice. We got to 21, almost 22. And I believe that means we've unlocked the... Uh, monkey bars under Edgeville. And it's telling him a primary method according to my rules. But we could use that to get 30 and then 30 to get to 50 for Falador. And that would be the chunk requirement because... We need to do agility courses. We don't count shortcuts in our rule set. And then once we get the agility, uh, the Falador course, we could get to 75, which is one of the shortcuts within the Rev Caves, which makes it a lot easier to escape because we can kill Pyre Fiends, which are quicker, which is what Frey does. You should definitely check him out if you don't already. He's also stuck there as an extreme one chunk. What a man. So yeah, I'm debating whether to do that or not. I was, I'll sit with it for now. But yeah, we need to get back on to... The Revenant grinds now. It's been a while. I need to get my head back into it all. Okay, first time coming back to the Rev Cave. It's been a hot minute. Let's uh, see if our luck changes today. It'd be nice to get a, a night on first day back, you know, just to welcome us back. It is a Sunday, so I'm not too sure how many how busy it's going to be, but let's see. Oh, the first tank test of the day. It's been a hot minute. Okay, almost out. The cave. We're out. This guy again, man. I should fucking hot world. Just my bad. Fuck me, I should have fucking hopped. Oh, I'm rusty. I didn't even have protection prayer on either. Oh, it's been, it's a bad day. It's a bad day. Alrighty, we have got our blue chaps back, but it is now time to invest in agility. I'm going to go for 75 agility so we can get the lower shortcut in uh, revs, which makes uh, escaping a bit easier. We can venture a bit deeper into the cave. And it's also the weekend at the minute, so it's pretty busy. So yeah, in between revs, I'm going to be doing some agility just to keep you updated. We're starting at level 21. We almost got level 52 from getting the blue DI chaps back. But yeah, starting at level 21. So I'll give you an update when we get to level 30. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just going to go to Edgehill Dungeon uh, and go from there. So let's give it a go. And that's a quick 25 agility levels as well as 30 and 75 total. Just missed it as I got hit on the way over. But yeah, nice. And there we have it, level 30. We can move on to Varrock 
course until level 50 now. Very nice. Didn't take too long to be fair. Oh my god, I about had a heart attack. I heard C Engineer say collection log completed. I thought I got the Rocky, uh, not, uh, the agility pet. Oh my god, it was just a mark of grace. Jesus Christ. I forgot about these to be fair. Let's see how many we get by the time we get to level 75. It'll be quite a few, I imagine. So yeah, oh my god, heart attack over. But at least next time I know if I hear him, it is the agility pet. And that right there is 40 agility. There we go. Almost missed it. And level 45. Five more to go. We've done almost 200 laps today. And there we have 50 agility and 1,400 total level at the same time. So a little bit of a double whammy. And we're at 91 days played. So that's about 2,184 hours before we even started agility, which is pretty sick. So yeah, over to the Palador course now. And there is 55 agility. We are slowly but surely getting there. Um, we're 144 rooftop count, only 2,373. It's about another 80 ish hours, I think, to get 75. And we just hit 60 agility there. Very, very nice. Slowly but surely getting there. We're still 2,100 laps away, but nice to get 60 agility on the cards. I just reached 260 marks of grace, which is a bit of a milestone. That is how much you need for the full grace for the course. Obviously, we can't buy that, but we have 260 now. Only 1,740 laps to go, and we're almost level 65. So I won't show you the level 65 clip, just know that we've got it. And there is 70 agility, five more to go. And there is the agility goal. 75 agility has been completed. So it looks... We got 486 marks of grace from that. Pretty cool. Almost two sets of graceful. Uh, they'll be in the bank for a very, 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 very long time. But we'll keep them in there. There is a couple of things we need to do, though. So we have some agility tasks to do. We have complete a lap of the agility course. We have obviously already done that. We need to squeeze through the crevice in the Dwarven Mine. So let's go do that. And... Grapple and jump off the North Polador wall. We will do that later, but let's do the agility one now. And of course, let's go and complete our 51 agility task, which is a squeeze through the pipe in Hedgeville. So let's do those now. Okay, there's that one done. And there is the hard Varrock task done as well. So we just have one thing left to do, which is to go back to Varrocks and yeah. Back to Revs, our good old friend. Just realised all my clips before this have had background noise because I've been watching streams, so unlucky. Uh, welcome to the Botland Stabby Weapon. I basically just stab them and they run away. It's good because I keep my uh, skull permanently. Um, so all the last clips were muted. Uh, I got some Dragon Plate Skirts, got some Dragon Daggers. I've had a few PKers, uh, but we've not died yet. Uh, and yeah, you're all caught up. Okay, I got a guy on us. He has one agility, so I'm not too worried. And we're out. Wait, we found a broken bot. We're gonna get our first. We're gonna get our first kill. Yes, we got a player kill. Holy! Oh, the first dragon long swords from the Pythian. Pythians, nice. Oh, and the looting bags full for 190k. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got a one on us late at night. Let's see. Well, that was easy enough. Well, that was a great trip. 436k in the looting bag. That doesn't happen too often. I'm quite liking Pyrophines, to be honest. It's pretty chill. The odd PK comes about and you just stab a rev bot every now and again like so. And they TP out. It's pretty fun, actually. I'm enjoying it. Alright, he got one on us. He was killing a guy a minute ago. I've already checked. He doesn't actually have the agility level, so it's fine. There is the first C drop from her uh, Pythons. We're going to kill another bot. Well, I think it's just a scout, to be honest. But hey, two PKs in one video without dying. Okay. Some more dragon longswords. We'll take them. Very nice. 
Oh, we've got a bit of a raid boss on us here. He is, uh, he doesn't have the agility though, so. Ah, we're good. Alrighty. Oh, well, got a guy on us. He does not have the agility level, so. Oh, the first totem drop from Pyrethines at 573kc. It's the one we want. Still not a collection log. We're still only 9 out of 14, but we'll get one. Alright, not bad. Good tank pass. And there is 83 hit points at KC. Very good. We're approaching 700 kills now at the Pyrethene. Still only one totem drop so far. This guy doesn't have the agility level, but he brewed up for it or something. Oh no, I looked him up and he didn't have the agility level. So I got, I got complacent and just like hid around the corner. I should have just fucking ran. Well, that's one. But yeah. There's, oh, there is ancient crystal number six, I want to say. No, I was too busy talking. He's got 90 agility, so there's no point trying to escape him. And we're out. Fuck. Pause champ, pause champ, pause champ, pause champ, pause champ, pause champ. Let's go! This is going to be a hard escape. I should have banked when I got my... Uh... He hit a 50! In a bit, lad. And there is 89 ranged completed. For a bracelet of Ethereum. Nice. Alrighty, that is a huge trip there. 662k, we've got three dragon plate legs as well as two battle staffs outside as well. So yeah, like a 700k trip there, we take those. And that right there is kill 1,500, which means we're about a third of the way for a drop. Hang on, let me just deal with this bot. Goodbye, friend. Um, so yeah, we're about a third of the drop rate for a drop from these. That puts us at 26.5k kills in total. And yeah, we are definitely, definitely dry now. 100%. Well, I knew I was dry anyway, but yeah, we should see at least three weapons. Well, three weapons by now. We're still on one, but hey, we'll get them. No way. I just ragged this bot last hit 16561 and he just got a Thammer and Scepter. You're going to hear it, see it appear in a minute on the floor. I can't believe it. All these stupid bots, and the one I rag gets the scepter. I mean, I don't really care because I've already got a scepter, but with due a drop, and he gets the scepter, man. Look, there it is. It's just popped up the Thamarin scepter. That is actually tilting. Right there, look. Alright, nice escape. He doesn't have the agility level. Uh, and that is the last drop from the regular table. We have now got all of the regular drops from Pythons. We're just now waiting for the uniques. Well, this was a huge trip. 463, 463k in the looting bag. And it's not even really rare. It's just loads of rune drops. So we'll take that. Oh, I've got another guy on us. He doesn't have the agility level. So we should be sound. Oh, he's got one go. He's got a PK me. Nah, that's fine. Well, I'm about to die. This guy has the agility level and he's a raid boss. Wait, we could be out here. We just snared him. We 
We got it. Maybe. Run, 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 run. Yeah, we've got gap, we've got gap, we've got gap, we got gap, we got gap. Big. Holy mother of you seed six. The max we can get, that's pretty funny. We'll take it. This is crazy, I've never seen it so wild. There's just had the old superior revenant spawn and everyone is fighting everyone right now. I should probably log. But it's quite funny seeing so many people just gather in one spot. Oh my god, you cannot make this up. It's just happened again. I've just tagged another bot and he's got another drop from the unique table. The ancient crystal this time. Yeah, it's not a weapon, but it's still annoying. I've killed almost 1,700 of these without seeing anything. And they get another drop right in front of me as I tagged them. Look, it's going to spawn in a second. Nope, there it is. It's just appeared. The ancient crystal. It's so annoying, man. Well, this guy doesn't have the agility, so as long as he doesn't PK me, we should be good. Ah, we're out. Not too bad. 90 ranged. Very nice. Almost halfway to 99, and we are still no closer to a drop. We're at 3000 KC almost now in Reverend Pyrofiends. And the Rat King comes out tomorrow. I was really hoping to get a drop before tomorrow, but hey. I I, I can't believe it. I, I have no words. Here is my log. As you can see, I got an Amulet of Avarice. At KC 28172. I couldn't even get my recorder up in time. A PK was already on me. And I fucking died, guys. It's so annoying. It took me so long to get a drop. I was like over three times drive for a drop. And then I get one. And I'm wearing it. I'm only joking. We got it. I didn't get my recorder up in time, but I do have the screenshot, so I'll put it on the screen now. But we did get the Avarice on 28. 172, was it? Finally. Finally. We were so dry for it. And we finally got one, so we can get noted drops now. I'm going to give it a go. If I lose it, I lose it, but I should be good. It's going to make the DPS so much better. And yeah, we finally got another drop. 10 out of 14. Perfect. Well... What an episode, we got some new gear for our Revenant grind. As you can see, we now have the Amulet of Avarice. Our look is hopefully turning around now and hopefully next episode we can push on and get the last four collection log slots. Let's have a quick look as always at our stat. As you can see, we gained over 80 levels this time, mostly in agility, of course. We went from 11 to 75. A couple of range levels in there and a HP level as well. That's awesome to see. Slowly coming closer to that 1500 goal, which will give us LMS. And as well as the game time, we gained over 10 days of playtime in this. A lot of it was AFK in during league splashing, but also there's a lot of agility in there, as well as probably another 50 hours at the revs as well. So yeah, loads of grinding has gone into this episode. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.